Back in Illustrator CS6, Adobe introduced a really cool feature, the pattern editing mode. And for the first time in Illustrator, you could create patterns intuitively by just moving around motifs while Illustrator makes the updates to the repeat instantaneously. So you can really just concentrate on your design flow. It's a wonderful thing. And this feature was greatly anticipated by so many of us who like working with patterns. However, this feature was really designed for making pattern fill swatches to work with inside of your Illustrator art. It's great for that. But the pattern editing feature doesn't fully cater to those of us who want to go beyond fill swatches and create pattern units for fabric or website backgrounds or for any application where you need to export a single unit of a repeat pattern and use it in the world outside of Illustrator. For example, when you create or edit a pattern in pattern editing mode, you'll often wind up with art that isn't pixel perfect, where the dimensions of the repeat unit might be decimal numbers. When you go to export a single unit of that pattern, the resulting image file will have round number dimensions because Illustrator won't export an image with its dimensions and fractions of pixels. It will round up or round down to the nearest round number, so your final pattern tile might have a gap in the art, which is the difference between that half a pixel edge in your art and the whole pixel edge of the exported image. When you go to use this pattern as a web background, you'll see that gap often as a white line. So I've developed a method that I use to get reliable results. So any pattern I create in Illustrator can work seamlessly in the real world. It takes a few extra steps, but it's worth it because working in Illustrator, as we know, gives you the most flexibility and editability. Anything you create can be resized and recombined into a new design without ever having to worry about how large you can make your art or what resolution you may need in the future. My name is Laura Coyle. I'm a freelance illustrator. And in this project, we'll focus on exporting pattern tiles from Illustrator that can be used and repeat on a website or in other digital applications. We'll create a basic grid repeat pattern in pattern editing mode from start to finish. And I'll show you some tips for resizing and editing the pattern while maintaining its pixel perfection. When you complete the project, you'll have the tools you'll need to adapt your existing patterns for the web and create new patterns that will tile seamlessly outside of Illustrator.